This film explains the main processes involved in making the two-foot, four-fold boxwood rule, which was widely used before steel tapes were available. The salesman's display board shows the 50 separate parts of the rule and the stages of manufacture. Boxwood logs were quarter sawn, then cut down to the correct size for the four legs of the rule. The mid joint in the centre of the rule allows it to open out fully and is made of five pieces, the head, hollow and mid plates. This joint is held together with a steel pin. The small joints are made from an odd number of plates with washers in between, joined with a steel pin. The two legs were joined with a mid-joint and secured with nails through the edge of the rule. The mid-joint section was then matched for colour with two further legs. Brass tips were added and the four legs of the rule joined with two small joints. This process is known as framing. The rule is now ready for marking with graduations for the line of measure. A gauging line is drawn down the length of the rule and the rule is then marked by machine or by hand using a dividing board and scribing knife or a hammer and punch. Finally, the figures are added. Blacking, a mixture of charcoal and oil, was rubbed into the markings and the roll was then polished and waxed ready for use.